everybody. Yep, it's me. It's Ann. I'm back. And I'm back with a AAK Girl collaboration. Angie, me, and Kaylee. This time we're doing green. We are doing so much green. The green goddesses have arrived. If you're ready, we can go this way. Hello everybody, it's me, it's Ann. I'm back. Wah! Hi. Anyway, today is going to be a collaboration with the AAK girls and you'll probably get some of this in the actual color intro with all the stuff done but since we've done the pretty in pink and nothing but blue we are this time doing green it's the green goddesses and I've got my Delancey avocado palette let me try and not blind you here have my Delancey avocado palette I'm filming this on the second day of December look see I have my new background set up what do you think Looks kind of neat, don't it? I may have to change where that thing hangs, though, because some of my, my background stuff doesn't really show up that well, because it's way up at the top. We'll have to see. Anyway, we will see what happens. But I'm going to get started on this look and see where the green goes. Now, remember, the AAK girls are Angie, me, and Kaylee. You have to see Angie and Kaylee. You must. Must. I'll be right back. Alrighty. Now, let's kind of get started with this. I've done my favorite... AOA Studios White Concealer as my eye base. I love this stuff. It dries down beautifully and it's a dollar. And you get gorgeous base with it. It's wonderful stuff. One of my favoriteest things. Now, I'm starting with my Delancey Avocado Palette. And I may be dropping in. There's a row of greens here in the Profusion Cheers palette that I just got. That I may be also dropping in. See that? Isn't that pretty? Pretty. Now, when we do these color theme pieces, we don't all have the same palettes. Sometimes we do, but not normally. It is not the average for us to all have the same palette. So, we make do with the palettes we have under the theme. The majority of this look needs to be done in greens. But I'm going to start just because it's sitting here and I feel like it. There's a beige up here at the top I'm going to start with. Just to go all the way up. Now, I don't normally, I started off setting my base 
when I started this channel because pretty much that's what everybody said to do. Now, I don't do that as much anymore. It depends on what I'm doing and the techniques I'm going to be using or what I feel like that day. But I'm putting the beige up here just to have something for the green edges to kind of blend into. Now, remember, I have hooded eyes. If you want the world's most wonderful explanation of hooded eyes versus deep set eyes, which both of them have some of the same issues of transfer and that kind of stuff through the crease, you can go look at Angie's video. She's got deep set eyes. Now, with hooded eyes, when I open my eyes, this upper section of my eyelid just drops all the way down to my eyelash line. This entire mobile lid section just disappears. There are some products, including the Asian eye tape, that can help hold that back some. I haven't tried it yet. I might. I'm not sure yet because one of the demos that I saw where somebody had really heavy hooded eyes, the hood pretty much overran the tape anyway. So I'm, I'm still debating trying that. Now that I've got that up there, I'm going to take this kind of a yellowy sour apple green just for the heck of it and start kind of in here in the front corner. Do this interior corner first just because I feel like it. You can do your eye makeup in any order you feel like. You can do your whole face makeup in any order you feel like it that works for you. Anybody tries and tell you different, tell them step off. It's your look. It's your makeup. And the other thing is, it's just makeup. It's not worth getting into fights over. If you don't like a look in particular, even if you've spent a long time trying to get it to look right, if it doesn't look right, it's just makeup. Wash it off and try again. That's one of the best things about it. If it just does not look right, wash it off and try again. Nobody says you can't. If you're trying really, really hard to have a special look for a special occasion, practice. Practice ahead of time. Figure out what works for what you're trying to do, what doesn't work, what kind of steps you need to take when and where, that's the only time I would be worried about when I did what. Because, like, say I was in somebody's wedding, not just attending, but in the bridal party, and I had a particular shade of clothing I had to wear, and I needed to match my makeup to look good with the rest of the bridal party, I'm going to practice first. I'm going to see if I can get a little swatch sample of the fabric. And I'm going to play with that fabric near my face while I play with the makeup. Otherwise, I'm liable to look around and go, where's my neutral stuff? I'll just take care of it and take the whole 
color issue out. Give me my beige and some browns. I really love this palette. No, I am not sponsored, but I love this palette. They came out, I'm not sure if it was before or after the color pop stuff that started coming out with the nine pan singular theme. They've got the avocado, they've got a blue, they've got an orange, and they've got a purple. But it's all multi pan as opposed to the nine pan that you would get from ColourPop. If you've got the ColourPop, you don't need this probably. If you've got this, you may not need your ColourPop. It, it, it kind of depends on what you want to do and, and how you want to do it. I got this because I could get two of these palettes for the same amount of money as if I bought one ColourPop. Is it better? Don't know. Don't have ColourPop except for a few singles up in a different palette, one of my magnetics. Can I get some of the same looks or something similar to the ColourPops? I believe so. Um, is ColourPop a bad brand because they're more expensive than this? Hell no. Don't be getting all funky about stuff like that. That's silly. All that does is make people mad. Alright. Which one am I going to do next? Let's see. I think I'm going to go down here. There's this nice, deep, green shimmer that I'm going to hit up. No, none of these colors have names. If they do, they're on the back. They're not. There's no color names on the back. They do not have color names on the front. Which is why I'm pointing to the spot in the palette. Now, this one is kind of a mid-tone compared to some of the others. I will probably pick up, there's another darker matte in here that I will probably pick up to darken this outer corner just a bit more and probably carry that down under the eye. Now, one of the things about me doing my makeup is I wear glasses. Now I've told anybody who's been here for a while has already heard my lament about not being able to see as well as I could what I am doing if I either had contacts or didn't need glasses. And yeah that lament still stands. It really does. But, Lacey from Spooky Lips and Fat Hips and Abby Williamson, who both also wear glasses, have done a particular video that I just I just watched Abby's I have to go watch Lacey's but they've got tag questions about how you deal you being whoever with wearing glasses and whether or not you don't do a lot of things because you think you can't and I do a lot of things sometimes I do things a little stronger with my colors because I have glasses. The ones I am currently using, because I have two pair with the same prescription, the ones I'm currently using are these. 
they're very dark. They're also very narrow for the lenses. The other pair that I wear are peach colored. Very peachy, so they almost disappear on my face. But it's still a heavier plastic frame. It's not like an Invisa frame or any of that. And depending on which frames I'm wearing and exactly what colors I'm wearing, I kind of play with it a little bit to make sure that the colors are visible. And I make sure I've got my eyebrows done because I've got something sitting right next to my eyebrows. Going down here to this one now, this dark matte. And yes, I'm still using the same brush. So, you know, if you wear glasses, don't necessarily feel that you can't do certain types of looks because of your glasses. Glasses do not preclude you from doing certain types of looks. However, I would suggest trying them. Again, this goes back to it'll wash off. Try different looks. See how they work with your glasses. See if you like them with your glasses. See if you do something slightly different. They work better or worse with your glasses. Try it out. Now, with most of my glasses, the, uh, the little narrow ones I don't really get a lot of real estate under here. With the pink ones, I get a lot more real estate under the eye. And I sometimes will wear the pink ones just so when I put something under the eye, it's got some playroom. Now, Abby was talking about she has a tendency since she's got very large real estate with the current classes that she was wearing or at least the ones with this particular video she just did she tends to go heavier under the eye because the wide frame and the deep lens give her extra real estate under the eye And she will do more blowout than somebody with, you know, no lenses might not go there unless it's for a specific reason. She does it mainly because she can. I do it mainly because I can. Now, let's see. Who am I going to put in the middle? I think I'm going to put this one in the middle. Let me get a different brush. I've kind of spudgied that one up pretty well. I'm going to get this one. Nah, I'm going to get this one. And I'm going to get my spray out. I'm going to set this over here so I can have both hands. I'm going to get my spray out. Because this one's another um, shimmer, but I want it to necessarily stick out more than that first shimmer that I put on. This one is the kind of peacocky green up here. I'm leaning way over. <laughs> and I'm going to spritz. And I'm going to dry off my ferrule so that 
and she doesn't yell at me. I've explained that in several other films. Check it out. That's coming out pretty, 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 pretty. Spritz. Wipe. Eyeball. Now, I have left some of that sour apple up above. I'm going to reclaim some of that in a little bit. And just because I've got some of that still on that brush, I'm going to run that right along the lower lash line because I can. Now I've got so much stuff on that first brush I used. I'm going to take this little one. This is a little crease brush. Now, ELF has these wonderful crease brushes. They're like, depending on which handle you get, it's either a dollar or three dollars. They have a relatively fat one, and then they have these tiny ones. This is the precision brush. I love these and I love the fatter crease brushes because those crease brushes get into this tight eye space that I have beautifully. I'm going to have to check to see if I can find some of my other ones. Now, this is the same size as the larger one for space, but it's a different different brush maker. So it's a little bit off. But pick up my sour apple green again and just kind of ease that back over. Make sure that's standing out because I like it. It's pretty. Now, you have a choice when it comes to how you dress yourself when you're doing kind of a standout look with specific colors. You can try and find greens that'll go with any of this as part of your clothing. As you can tell, I didn't. Didn't look. 
I decided taking that sour apple green and just kind of dusting it under the eye a little bit just kind of layer that color in there it doesn't really show up specifically but it does change the color that's sitting right under the eye just a tad And just tempers it a little. Now, me, I tend to think that a neutral color clothing tends to go a little better with a really standout kind of color for your makeup. That way they don't fight. You don't have a massively odd color going on while you're trying to you know try if you try and match it up and you miss you're going to be really really annoyed it will make you angry because okay yeah your makeup looks real good you put that green dress on and it's just not right so you're clashing don't do it. It ain't worth it. I'm thinking this is pretty cute. Now, I've got some glitters in here. And I do mean they are glitters. I've got a gold one, a Kelly green, and then sort of a sour apple green. I don't know that I'm actually going to use any of that for this look. It's only the second day of December. We haven't really got close to the need the glitz. We're still shopping, remember? So, now, I'm going to run away for a few minutes. Finish up my face. Probably no lashes, just some mascara. Lashes and glasses can be tricky. I have some longer lashes that I put on for certain looks that I'm doing just to show them. But then I have to take them off to be able to put my glasses on. I've also got some lashes that I picked up from Shop Miss A. No, I am not sponsored by them either. But Shop Miss, Miss A and some of the other lash companies have some little shorter lashes. Now, my eyelashes are sparse and not very thick. The shorter lashes make my lashes look thicker doesn't help with the length but it makes them look thicker so I sometimes put the little short lashes on that don't interfere with my glasses just to make them look thicker before I hit them with a little bit of mascara anyway I'll see you in a minute Alrighty, guys, I've got my foundation on. Now, no, I am not sponsored by Shop Miss A. I don't get promo packs from Shop Miss A or from Elf or any of the rest of that. However, I'm using a lot of Shop Miss A today. I just got their foundation 
and I'm in love. One drop on the top of my foundation brush, one side of my face is done. One more drop, other side of my face is done. It's beautiful. Shop Miss A, delicate pink, Lumi blusher. Yes, I've had this a while. Look at that. The lid is starting to, you know, I'm losing all of my... That does not look like it's been dipped into. This is one of my favorite blushes. The contour, well, bronze tour is another AOA blush, but it's in a tone that works for me as a bronzer. Tone is called Find. No, excuse me, Fino. See, told you, no glasses, can't see nothing. And I dearly love this stuff. The eyeliner that I'm using is AOA Starlet in gold. This is not dried out yet, and I've had this since last Christmas. Okay, yes, I keep stuff longer than the expiration date. As long as the stuff is still working, I'm using it. That's me. Make your own choices. I've got the e.l.f. Blurring Primer on. I've got e.l.f. Concealer on. I've got um, oh, my, my drugstore. Finally got this in. Cody Airspun. I have my Cody Airspun. I am a happy camper. I really am. I am a happy camper. There are two quote unquote translucent powders. Had a little too much of a pink cast for me to feel comfortable. Elf liquid eyeshadow. This one is in brushed copper. This is going right here. That's where that's going. And then, it's going to go right here. Just barely a touch. And I'm going to smear it just a little bit. Just to do that brow bone, just a tiny bit. Even that up just a little more to go with the other one. I love their molten liquid eyeshadows. Elf is my darling. Elf really is. Okay, mascara. The Charlotte Tilbury Mini that I won in a giveaway. And now I need to pick Lippy. Lippy, here, Lippy. I think I'm going to play a little bit. I have a lip pencil that is from Color Workshop. If you watched my Mark Wynn video, you'll remember me mentioning Color Workshop. This is left over from last Christmas with that huge set that I got for Christmas just to try it out. And it's kind of a pale berry color. I'm not even sure. 
why I'm doing it other than because it's the color workshop and I felt like it. Because anybody who's been here a while knows I don't normally do the lip pencil thing. Just because. Just because it's me. Now, this is from, from one of my Ipsy bags. Was it an Ipsy bag? It was either an Ipsy bag or it was from Nona when we did the exchange on the friend boxes. This is a Smashbox lip color. It's called Babe Alert. Anyway, it's not an obnoxiously standout, you know, steal the scene color. And I think it goes pretty well with that berry tone. Lip pencil. Now, I've got another piece or two that I'm going to put on just for the heck of it. To go with this look. This adorable thing. Which is huge. And a bit heavy. But it's not real stone. It only cost me a couple of bucks off of thread up. I love thread up. Now, I still haven't decided on earrings. I'm thinking I'm going to put my gold bows on. Because the gold bows, yes, I've been working on my ear stretch. See, there's the tunnels. This is a eight. Yeah, this one's an eight gauge. This one's a six gauge, which means it's four millimeters and three millimeters. I do not have a lot of earrings or new tunnels or anything like that yet to work with. However, this pair of earrings, the back has got a little loop that will go over the back of that tunnel. And I can do this. Just to fancy it up a bit until I get some new stuff. I don't want to get in a hurry with any new tunnels or anything because th these still need to heal some. This is as far as I plan to go though. This is as far as I am planning. So see that fits right over the little back portion of the tunnel that I currently have. This is these are the tunnels that came with the stretching set. So it's the ones that's you know they're fairly long to deal with the swelling and all that. And then they've got the little O-ring rubber bands to go on the back to hold them in. So there we go. Now that the swelling's down, I can start looking at some of the others. But I'm not doing them just yet. I really want my ears to heal. Then I'll look at it. No, I'm not plotting and planning to go any larger. This is large enough to suit me. There are tunnels you can pick up as individuals by millimeter that fit this hole and this hole. You don't have to buy a huge set 
for the tiny little ones and then have the big ones laying around doing nothing. And that's why I stopped with the ones I stopped with. These are pretty much the smallest ones that are part of the big um, stretching set that I got that you can find the, you know, pairs of the individual tunnels to go in these small holes. So that's where I stopped. I've got some older earrings that, you know, post earrings that are inexpensive and I'm going to get some of the acrylic tunnels and probably make some of my own with a little E6000 in the tunnel. We shall see what happens. Anyway, there is my look. Do not forget to go see Angie and Kaylee. And don't forget, we're in December. Be careful with your shopping. Be good. Mm -hmm.